Hey everyone and welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Alex and today I have prepared a little stretching routine that you can use after a gym session or any kind of exercise that you do. The first five minutes cover lower body stretches and then the last five minutes cover upper body stretches. Let's get started. So the first stretch we're going to start with is a stretch for our quads. So we have two versions. You can either be lying down on the ground like this or you can come up to here. This is a little bit easier. We're going to hold it for 30 seconds. So if you are down on the ground and you don't feel it enough, you want to make sure you're squeezing your glutes, pushing your hips forwards, and you can also lean back and lie down. 30 seconds. We have 10 seconds left. Three, two, and we're coming up. The next exercise is a lunge. So we're going to be coming up to our knees and lunging down hips as far down to the ground as we can. We're going to hold it for 30 seconds. You should feel it in your quad and in your hip flexors. So a little bit higher up. If you feel it in your hamstring as well, that's quite normal too. So we're just going to stay here for a little bit. If you want something to balance, to hold in your hands, feel free to get something. Nice, and we're switching to the other leg. So we're starting with our quad. Either this version or this one here. We have 15 seconds left. And three, two, and one. Coming up, switching to our lunge straight away. We have 15 seconds left here. Trying to see if we can sink a little bit further down. Three, two, and one. Our next set of stretches will be targeting our hamstrings. So we start with lying down on the ground, bottom leg is bent. And I'm going to be straightening my top leg as much as I can. Interlace my fingers and I want to be pulling my leg as close to my face as I can. We also want to make sure that the knee is straight so we're not bending our leg. We have 15 seconds left here. And three, two, and one. We're going to switch legs. 30 seconds on the other leg as well. Ten seconds, pulling the leg a little bit closer, making sure it's straight. If you need a strap and you want to be holding a strap that you can wrap around your foot to pull your leg a little bit closer, you can do that as well. The next couple of stretches are for our glutes. So we're also going to be lying down to do this one, placing one leg on top of the other, making sure our foot is flexed. And from here, you can be pulling the bottom leg in if you want, or you can be pulling your foot in if that's easier to hold for you. And we're going to hold here for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and switching to the other leg straight away. 
you might be feeling this one in your hips as well so in here and that's really normal so nothing to worry about three two one and I have two last stretches for us, one stretch for our hips and one stretch for our calves. So we're going to start with our calves. So we are in a downward facing dog and we're just going to be pushing our heels down into the ground as much as we can, trying to keep our legs straight. If this is very hard for you, you can also grab a chair or something to hold on to. It should make it a little bit easier. So the focus of this exercise is to keep our legs straight and push our heels down into the ground and we will feel a really really good stretch in our calves we have 20 seconds left here and five seconds three two and one and the last stretch is for our hips so a little bit wider than hip width apart and i'm going to be placing my elbows on my knees pushing my knees to the sides and trying to bring my hips as far down to the ground as i can if you can you want to be sitting all the way down here and we're going to hold here for another 30 seconds If you feel like you need, if, if you feel like it, you can be moving in this stretch. And we're on five, three, two, and one. And for the second part, we're going to start with upper body stretches. So we're coming up to all fours. I'm going to reach my hand out in front of me and I'm going to make sure I have hip width apart between my knees and I'm going to be pushing my chest down to the ground. If this is very easy for you, you can come up onto your fingertips or you can also grab a block or something to have under your hands. We're going to stay here for 30 seconds. And we have 10 seconds left. Trying to sink a little bit further down. Three, two, and one. For the next one, we're going to stay here, but now we're going to be on our elbows, hands together. And I'm going to be making sure that I have 90 degrees at my elbow joint. And I push my chest down again for another 30 seconds. Three, two, and one, coming up. So the next thing we're going to stretch is our chest. So we're going to start by lying flat down on the ground, 90 degrees at our elbow joint. And I'm going to open the opposite leg of the arm that's on the ground, and I'm going to twist towards my arm. I should feel it in my chest and feel it in the front of my shoulder. I can be using this other hand to push a little bit more. We're going to stay here for 30 seconds. And five seconds left. Three two and one we're switching to the other side straight away and 
and we have 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. So in the next exercise, we're going to stretch our shoulders a little bit more. So I'm going to open my arms, try to touch my fingers at my back if I can. And I'm going to be pushing my chest forwards. And if you don't feel much of a stretch here, we're going to be moving our hips further down. And the further down we come, the more of a stretch we should feel. Making sure we're still arching our back and pushing the chest forwards. If this hurts your elbows, feel free to bend your arms a little bit. And five seconds, three, two, and one. And the last stretch we're going to do is a spinal twist. So it will stretch all the muscles alongside your spine, but it also might stretch your chest depending on your flexibility. So we're going to start by lying down on the ground. I'm going to lift one leg up and over the other, placing my hand on the knee. And then I'm going to be looking at the other hand and open my arm to the side. And in this exercise, I want to try to keep both my shoulders on the ground and my knee on the ground as much as I can. This is probably like one of my favorite stretches. So if you want to hold it for longer than 30 seconds to really, really ease and relax into it, feel free to hold it for a minute, even a minute and a half. And we have 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. Switching to the other side straight away. And we have 10 seconds left here. And we're on three, two, and one. So this was all I had for today. Thank you so much for joining. If you don't feel like we have stretched enough today, check out some of my other videos where we do a little bit more stretching. And please, if this video helped you in any kind of way, please consider subscribing to my channel or at least liking this video just because it really supports my mission here. See you next time.